Mike has it on right now. He's about to go under. Mm. All right. All of this. Should we put it down? He's going to be sure. watching all of this while we do this. We're joined right now by someone who has logged many hours in space. Mike Massimino, he is a former NASA astronaut, also a senior advisor to the Intrepid Museum. And Mike, thanks for being here. Oh, my pleasure. Like, let's talk a little bit about this helmet because this is pretty crazy looking, but this is a brand new way of seeing virtual reality. How, how does it work? Yeah, it's, it, it, the, the show One Strange Rock is the story of Earth and uh, from an astronaut's perspective to a large degree. We so talk we, to them about it so here we on talk, the show. Yeah, we, yeah. we talk about uh, what it's like to view the planet. And when you're viewing the planet, particularly from a spacewalk, you're not looking through a window window, you're kind of immersed in that scene. So you can look around and see the earth or see the stars and see it all around you in this, in this regard, right? Kind of like being outside in the backyard looking at the sky. So uh, this is what that helmet uh, replicates. It gives you an opportunity to see these scenes sort of in this immersive experience. It, it's almost like an IMAX theater right on your head. Is that? That's a good way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Except with that visor down, it's hard to get the popcorn to your mouth. But other than that, <laughs> It's kind of like that, I guess, yeah. Hey, Mike Santoli, are you yeah. seeing anything in there right now? Nothing yet, no. <laughs> I'm yeah. seeing a lot of light. <laughs> Looking at the it's wall. It's good to check that he's still breathing, so that was good. <laughs> Mike, tell us a little bit about your experience in space. You've uh, been up I, I twice. Got to fly, yeah, I got to fly two times uh, yeah. to the Hubble Space Telescope, uh, which was, uh, was really quite a privilege to get to do that. And I was a repairman, so I got to wear one of the, a real version of that thing, <laughs> meaning that it, it's not just for projecting, but it was... Uh, a spacesuit that allowed us to work outside the spacecraft and do repairs. So I was a repairman in space, more or less, and had a chance to observe what it was like and uh, have a chance to tell it with some of my friends uh, through the One Strange Rock Show. How, how does it compare? Not not just the One Strange Rock Show, but mm -hmm. also what you, what you do with this uh, with this helmet. How, how does it compare to what, what it was really like being? In yeah, space? You, you know, we we're getting a lot better at being able to to replicate what it's like because our technology and cameras uh, being able to film what we see has gotten a lot better. For example, years ago was my first flight. It was really tough to get good night shots because the, the camera technology wasn't there. But more recently, we're getting really good views of the planet at night and of the, what, it, what it looks like in the, the universe, the stars, and so on from, from the astronaut's perspective. But still, it's not quite like being a, Just think of like, if you've been to some place like the Sestine Chapel or yeah. the Grand Canyon, yeah. you know, you can see pictures and people can tell you about it. But once you see it, it is really amazing. And that's what I kind of like about the show is that it, we are trying to bring our experiences, not just the, the photos, but also our experiences to it. But it's an extraordinary experience being in space. And I think devices like uh, Mike has on his head right now help people understand that. But All there's right, nothing well, quite like being there. Is it working, Mike? Yeah, now you can, I'm seeing the sort of horizon of the moon. Um, you saw sort of uh, the, the sun and the moon moving together, uh, sun rising over. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. You want to wear this helmet now, don't you? I'm, I'm in. <laughs> I, I kind of have a, I'll sh I may be able to show you why I don't usually go, like Andrew loves to, to wear that, but then, you know, he gets all these, the mail writes in and he says he looks like Gazoo and all, you know, it's just, I don't. <laughs> I, it, this is a little bit of a different look. Yeah, this is an astronaut. Well, yeah, it's exactly. Cool. You know, the, the later sci-fi movies, we've slimmed down these big. Are they still? Uh, they're about that size. They're still this big. Yeah, they are because you know that that's pretty much your your environment inside of there. You need well, you need a you want a big screen to be able to see. Yeah. And uh, also, you want some breathing air around you, and some fresh air comes in. Or actually, the real one has a vent over the top of it to bring fresh air and, and uh, keep the carbon dioxide moving away from you, and so on. So what, what am I seeing with the stuff. sun here? Is that is that sort of um, actual, like what a spacewalk would look like with the sun being that intense and on fire like that? Uh, the sun in space looks like a star and it's against a black sky. You seeing it against a black sky? Wow, really? The sun looks like a star. Mike, you still there? Yeah, I'm yeah. here. Yeah, it's against, yeah, so you probably see it against a black sky, which is pretty cool. Yeah. You know, you, you know, you know you're going to see that, but when you see the sun for the first time against a black sky... And it's like a star. Pretty cool. it, it, it looks like a star. A close yeah. star, but is it because the, does our atmosphere just diffuse Yeah, it? That's, that's, that's the thing, uh, Joe, is that... Um, the, and that's what the Hubble Space Telescope has the advantage over all other telescopes, because it's above that atmosphere. If you think of our atmosphere, um, it's, it's very thin, but it's pretty dense. So think of it as if you're in a, underwater in a pool. You know, summer, and you're looking up at the sky and it's all blurry, you're looking through the water, and then you okay. get out of the pool and it's much more clearer. 
That's what the atmosphere does to our ability to see the Don't stars, the that, sun, and so on. That thing. Here's what, this is what I'm talking about, uh, Mike, both of you. This, yeah. this is why I don't wear a, uh, on TV, <laughs> I won't wear, we that's John <laughs> Kerry. He, he didn't, oh, he look. lost the presidency because of that, uh, that, that picture right there. He I came out of it. I forgot the Dukakis. Uh, sure. Dukakis. <laughs> yeah, he looked like a zoo too. But see, I, you know, I, I, if anything makes me look like that, I just try to, it's just best to avoid it. <laughs> Will you say, um, Mike, Open the pod bay doors. Yes. Huh? There we go. I was seeing bears and flowers and stuff. There's other National Geographic Maybe stuff. Yeah, there. Oh, it's a okay. different way. Yeah, it's was it really <laughs> there or was he just seeing that? Yeah, stuff? no, it's okay. a different way to uh, to experience the film. I think he was oxygen what, de what, deprivation. What He's starting to. So you really. Sorry. Uh, okay. Will you say that? Open the pod bay doors. Huh? Open, the, Open pod the pod bay doors. Oh my God, that sounds sorry, just like Dave. A... I'm afraid I can't. Do I think that. it looks cool. <laughs> yeah. You're ready. Yeah, like say it again. Mike, say we, it talk, again. we talk about mm -hmm. space travel being something that we're all going to be experiencing, but I was I shocked so. to see that this is like 12 million bucks for one of these astronaut suits. It is for the helmet. Be careful with that <laughs> thing, Mike. Like, no, I didn't not realize that. For the, for, for the real suit. Oh, for the real suit. Yeah, okay, the real but this suit thing, space. what do they got inside of it? <laughs> it didn't seem like it'd be 12. No, the real, yeah, the real suits, uh, in fact, really what, what is so expensive about the suits we wear when we spacewalk is the life support system. Yeah. I don't even, we can't replace them any longer. Yeah. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.